live a few minutes after 1 p.m. Eastern Time here in Montreal. And if you're new to the channel, it's Wire Lady TV. My name is Heather Boyd, and every week we do a live stream on Wednesdays around 1 p.m. Eastern Time, troubleshooting new designs and new ideas. So as always, I'm going to pull up the video on my channel. Uh, say hello if you're watching. Tell me where you're watching from. And I'm just going to open it up so I can see your comments and stuff as well. So open it up. Perfect. Great. So Mustafa's here. Susan's here. You guys are right on time. That's awesome. You found me. Yes. And Amber. Yay. And Paula. Fantastic. Clarice. Wow. You guys are so punctual. That's so fantastic. And I was so excited today. I got a beautiful package from Amber in the mail and it's over here. Amber, there's your card. I love it. And this beautiful, beautiful woven piece. Incredible. I'm in awe. I'm in absolute awe. I've never made anything so intricate. Beautiful. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. That's awesome. I love getting gifts. Actually, I got two gifts in the mail today because I um, I got a big box from Beetalon. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, here's the big box with all kinds of beads and tools and wire and stuff. So that, I'm gonna do another live stream where I open up that big box of stuff. I'm really excited. So Beetalon reached out to me and uh, offered to send me some supplies and some uh, wires. I'm looking for a source for new tools. So hopefully there's some tools in there that I can recommend to you guys and I'll open it up either later today or tomorrow on another live stream and just uh, go through the box. So that's awesome. So today I had a special request from Cynthia for her granddaughters to do some a little fox and a little a little um cat with uh what well, i don't know if she asked me to do their names but i'm going to do their names in it as well hey jamie how are you peggy hi so that's what i'm going to do and so like i did for susan uh, susan had inspired that new idea to do the uh, to trace the templates uh, so i made some i did some drawings of some templates of foxes and cats so i did these uh these drawings and i'm going to just choose a couple of them and trace them with the wire. So what I'll do is I'll flip the screen around and we can do that. Am I the only one who can hear or see anything? Who can hear or can't hear? Susan, can you can you not hear or see things? Just let me know in the chat. And I'm gonna flip the screen around. Yeah, super big box, eh? And uh, Almond's in the house too, awesome. So let me flip the screen. Am I? Uh, you can hear me or cannot hear me, Susan. Um, I'm not quite sure. Well, I guess you you can hear me if I'm talking. So I'm not quite sure what the problem is. I think everybody else is okay. Let me know if there's any problems. So here's the templates. And so what we're going to do is like before, we trace them. So I had traced them with plastic. This is just a zippy bag. You can trace them with the plastic. Or, as Susan had said, you can use paper. So we can try the paper as well and see. I can hear and see her. Yeah, I'm not quite... Oh, you're back. Okay, so maybe, Susan, you're having a little bit of internet problem. That's possible. So I'm going to just get Tracy's with the Sharpie and see. But the trouble is you can... Whoa. See, the trouble is that the touch screen is very sensitive, right? So you can see it with the paper it's a little bit tricky though so i think the easiest way is if you're having trouble seeing it is just get a piece of plastic to uh, to uh, trace it i'm embroidering canvas right now that sounds super fun i love that idea is that like needle needle point or something or more like more like embroidery i guess you can hear and see me awesome so let's go ahead and trace one of these this one's kind of fun, so I think I'm going to do that one. And I well, have to decide what size it wants to be. So it has to be like for a little ornament. So maybe I'll make it a little bit bigger. I'm just trying to think. Yeah, let's make it a not a too bad size. And, I mean, you can make them really small too for a, a pendant if you want as well. So the paper for baking. Paper for baking. Oh, Clarice, that's a great idea. Like tracing paper, right? 
Oh, that makes more sense. Like parchment paper or tracing paper. Fantastic idea. I love that. So so definitely, if you have tracing paper or parchment paper, that would totally work too. I don't know why I didn't think about that. Yeah, that's funny. That I never even thought to use actual tracing paper, but baking paper is a great idea too. So we're just going to trace this one. So I'll go ahead and trace the two animals, and then we'll go ahead and add the names. Oh, see, trouble is if you lift your fingers, sometimes the image can like distort and get bigger and smaller. So you just have to be a little bit careful to get to get the um the screen is very sensitive. So you just have to be really careful about that, that it doesn't jump all over the place. Now your tracing might be a little wonky. Mine's not great, but it just gives you an idea, right? So there's the fox, which is great. And then we have to do the cat. And I realized that I don't have enough plastic. So let's just cut this open and use the other half. We could definitely use that for sure. So report covers two. Report covers two. What is that? Like, like, like just acetate, you mean, Peggy? Yeah, that's a good idea. It's even entertaining watching me trace things. That's hilarious. That's so funny. Yeah, well, I uh, I just love anything creative. Uh, as you guys know, I love working out new designs, troubleshooting ideas. You know, when there's a problem, I like to I like to find a solution. So uh, so it's it's fun. It's really fun. So there's the fox, and now we split these open, and let's do the cat. So maybe we'll also do a kind of silhouette for the cat. So you guys vote. Should I do that cat with the or the the side view of the cat or the back view of the cat? You guys decide which one I should do. Using plastic bags is a good idea. Yeah, it works. It totally works. When I grew up, actually, we used to buy our, our milk in milk bags. So we would recycle them. The side view. Okay, so let's do the side view. And I'll get them about the same size because they're for two granddaughters of Cynthia. So they probably would like them to be about the same size. So let's do maybe a little bit smaller. There we go. That should be good. Okay, so let's trace this one. It's really pretty, actually, this one. I like it a lot. So just be careful not to distort the screen again. Just keep it in place and go around it. There we go. Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with these templates. And I actually decided to start another Etsy shop where I'll be selling uh, some templates and supplies, random supplies, and um, some other tutorials, some other different tutorials that aren't on YouTube. So that's something new that I'm venturing into. And uh, so I'll still be doing the free tutorials on YouTube, but I will be having some on Etsy as well. So I'm kind of excited about that. So that's, uh, that's uh, it. I've opened the Etsy shop, but it's just, there's not a lot of stuff in it quite yet. So here's the cat. Perfect. We're going to put that there. Robin says hi. Hi Robin and hi Paula. Fantastic. And there we go. So we have the kitty and the fox. So let's get going with those guys. We'll start with the fox. This one's going to be a little bit trickier because it does have quite a bit of detail. And I think I'm just going to stick with the 18 gauge wire. I do have a thicker wire, but I think this is going to be better. So I just got a pop up on my screen and I didn't notice if it came up on the channel, but hopefully, hopefully it didn't come. It says that I need a software update. So I hope we're not going to conk out at some point while I'm on this live stream. So let's just fingers crossed and hopefully we don't have an, a, pro a problem. So I tried to do the update. I'm not quite sure what happened. That's the trouble with technology is they always have these updates and they don't necessarily make things better than they were before. So here is the wire for the fox. And then you have to decide where you want to finish it off. So say I want to finish it at the top is probably the best place to finish it because then you could put like a little loop to hang it on. And this too, we're going to have to like rotate it around as we work. I did have to choose the hardest one first. I probably should have started with the cat because it's going to be a little less difficult. But I'll just start with the fox. And as always, if you guys want to chat in the chat box, please feel free to chat uh, uh, with amongst yourselves. Let me know also what you're up to this week. Uh, I was thinking of add free handmade bookmarks, batches, stickers 
for customers who want to order. That's cool. So Mustafa is, is going to open an Etsy shop and he's just trying to contemplate what kind of uh, things to sell in his shop. And something that I told Mustafa is it's very important with Etsy to have a very distinct niche. So you don't want to start selling a lot of like really random stuff in your shop or people aren't going to really get to know your shop for, for one particular thing. It's really, yeah, I think in anything you do, it's really important to have a very defined sort of look and a very defined sort of product base and stuff because then people will start to know you for that. So like Mustafa shared a photo on Instagram this morning of his bonsai tree, which was super beautiful. So that's something that you could do a little bit, you know, something like that. You also want to be careful that there's not too many people already doing the same thing on Etsy. That's the thing about Etsy. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of competition. So you want to be sure that uh, you have something that's unique and that stands out. So thinking about combining uh, different things that are unique to you could be interesting. People do like the personalized things. Like if you, um, I've been teaching you guys a lot of how to do names and things like that. So you could definitely do personalized things. Like even I, you know, you could make and sell like animals and with little personalization. I haven't really gone that route in my shop because I um, specialize in wedding cake toppers, which are personalized. So I kind of want to stay in my lane and, and work on things like that. But the sky is the limit for different things that you can make and sell. It's really, uh, it has to do, you have to do what feels right for you and what really resonates with you and um, and what people can identify with you as well. So yeah, it's interesting that way. So let's just keep going with the, the shape. The shape is a little bit tricky for animals, you know, with the shape of their their legs and stuff. So might not be perfect, but it's going to be okay for now. So we're going to go up here. And the trouble is when I'm demoing this, I realize with my other video for the bear that my hands kind of get in the way. So it's a little bit tricky to actually, you know, show you guys all the details because my hands get in the way, but I'll do what I can. I love your wedding cake topper and my favorite is your wedding card story. Yes, yeah, that's really, um, that's part of selling uh, as well is what is your story? You really have to think about that because people not only want to buy a product, but they also want to buy into your story. So the when I sell our wedding cake toppers, I always uh, send a little postcard that tells the story about how myself and my husband met. And we actually met selling on the street in Montreal. And uh, I didn't speak any French. He didn't speak any English. And so the our story is how we, you know, kind of struggled not struggled but we took us a lot of time to actually be able to understand each other's language and then how we developed our business together as well so so that's a story that makes us special and unique and people really love that so th think about if you do want to sell online think about what your story is and what you can what can you share with people and inspire people it's really uh it's really People aren't buying just products anymore. People are buying a story. People are buying emotions. And uh, it's really important to think about for sure. So Debbie's on board. Yes. Uh, if you did a screenshot with that, it would be stationary so you could trace it. Yeah, that actually was a screenshot or it was like in my photos type of thing. So I think just sometimes with the nature of the iPad, when you touch it because you can expand and, and reduce it, um, it does that. But you know what, Debbie, usually what I would do is just print it out. So if you do have a printer, you could definitely uh, just print it out. And uh, and that would be much, that would save the hassle for sure. But if you don't have a printer, it's, uh, you just have to go gently on the screen. I think that's the main thing. Or if you bring it up on your computer, it won't do that. You know, it, you, computers generally aren't touch screens, so you wouldn't have that problem at all. So now you see I'm like lifting up the piece to do some of the details and I'm using my, my thumb to like kind of push the, push the wire around and stuff to get the shape because you can make a lot more fluids, lo fluid lines with your, with your finger like that. So you just bring it around like that. Uh, why is it doing it three times? Yeah, I'm not sure why your comment came up three times. That's a little bit strange, but maybe just a glitch. Yeah, yeah, perfect. So let's bring this around here and up like that. 
And Susan, let me know if you've attempted the bear yet. I'm curious to know how you're how you're doing with that, and uh, to see if you've started that or not. And the bear was really cute as well. I really enjoyed making that one. So here we go, the tail, and then we can lift this up and bring it around. Make sure I'm staying on screen. Perfect. Just wind this around to the back, and then just I'm just lifting it right off so I could get the shape properly. It's like sculpting with the wire, really. And then now we're going to do these little little spiky bits for the for the hair or. I guess the fur, right? So maybe I would just even do that by eye because you really want to get nice sharp points. Like a lot of times you see pictures of foxes and they have like little sharp kind of points of their of their fur and stuff. So unfortunately the copper wire is a little bit soft, so sometimes it's hard to get those little those little kind of distinct bends but we'll just do what we can to try to get them like that I mean you don't even have to do those bends I just thought they were kind of cute so we can definitely do that in my phone there's a lock screen to allows you to trace oh that's good to know okay perfect so maybe in the settings you can lock the screen I think I know what you mean Mustafa yes because sometimes when I film videos I can do that to the lock screen good suggestion fantastic so Icon Betty says, I've lost the live feed eight times now. Oh, oh, that's too bad. Yeah, sometimes our internet glitches out. And so um, the live stream, the replays are always there. So I'm, I'm happy for that at least. So let's bring this up and do the ear. Okay, we're going to bring this up and do the ear. Yeah, great advice, eh, uh, for, from Mustafa. Uh, Susan says, I'm missing so much, I've been in and out 11 times now. Whoa, I wonder if it's YouTube that's having trouble. That's too bad, guys. I mean, so far I'm okay, but everybody else, let, let us know in the comments if you're having trouble with YouTube cutting out, because maybe it's a YouTube thing. I really, I really don't know what's happening. Yeah, it tends to be kind of glitchy sometimes, and I don't really know another platform that's so good for doing live streams and stuff. So, I mean, there definitely is Zoom and things like that, but I don't want people to have to sign up for things like that. So so we'll just uh, do what we can with the YouTube. So so there we go. We've done the, the uh, fox, and now we have to hold it together. Okay, so we're going to bring this up here, and now we want to just form it a little bit. I'm not sure I'm loving that bit of the of the hair at the back, but I'm just going to actually open up my image again so I can see it because sometimes the once you trace the drawing, it looks a little bit distorted. So if I look at the original image, it's going to be easier to see, I think. Yeah, so whoopsies, going to go back. OK, so now I see the fox. So yeah, looks like the nose ended up being a little bit small, but it's OK. And then what you want to do is make the top part of the ear. So we're going to bring this up and okay, we're going to bring that up here and that's going to go, it'll go about here. So it's kind of cute. And then you want to wrap that one around here. So what I'm going to do for that is just bend this, bring it around, hold it in place. And hopefully that's going to be, I think that's good. So we're going to bend that in place. Can you please make letters for rings? Yes, I did do one tutorial with a letter ring. And Alman, yours uh, A ring is definitely on my list. I'll probably be doing it in the next week, a uh, ring with the letter A. But I, the ones I have right now, the one I have right now is a letter in a frame for a ring. But I will do just like a free form letter on a, on a ring uh, soon not in this video but probably on a separate video soon so there we go so there's the fox and then if you do want to put a little bead at the top i can just grab my beads and find them so here's the beads and we'll just put a little bead at the top maybe i like these turquoise beads they look nice with the with the um gold so let's get a little Miracle bead, my favorite. I don't think we need too many beads. We can do the miracle bead and then maybe a little spacer bead and then a small, maybe a, a faceted bead is nice. 
I have my standard beads that I use a lot. I love glass beads. Yeah, yeah. I have a nice collection of beads now. So there we go. That little that little container is all my favorite beads. So and then this you want to make sure it's not gonna like go like fall over that edge. So if we just bend it a little bit more sh sharply, it's gonna hold in place a little bit better, I think. Yeah, so let's just get this in place. And you can also like pinch it in a little bit too. So there we go. So now just to make a loop at the top, usually what I do is I just keep it simple. I cut it to like half an inch ish and then we're just gonna bend it around and we'll just bend that end here. And then to hang it up, you can put it on a cord. You can actually make this wire longer and put more beads on it like I did with the sun catchers. But that's kind of cute. Oh, it's really cute. So let's do a name. I'm going to use a thinner wire to do some names. This is the 20 gauge wire. And so it's her name is Faith. So let's go ahead and cut a piece of the wire. Now, Fs are very difficult. So I think I'm going to draw it first because the Fs are quite tricky to make. Let me move some of these out of the way. Fox looks cute. Thank you. We get so strange. I'm not having any streaming troubles myself. Okay, so maybe it's just uh, maybe it's, it's Susan's uh, internet. It's possible. So there we go. So we're gonna go this way. And so if I did a F, usually I do something like this. Let's see, duh, 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 duh. and then that way. I think that's probably the easiest way to do it. So let me go ahead and start the F, and just think of how I'm going to do it. Uh, yeah, sometimes it's tricky to remember how I do this. So I'm just going to start here, I think. Okay, and do the F. And I don't want to do it too big or it's not going to fit very well inside. So we'll just do down here. The 20 gauge wire seems to be good for the, for the names. I find that's the best uh, weight even for pendants because if you'd use 18 gauge, it ends up being a little bit they end up being a little bit big and I will be doing a tutorial soon on how to actually attach the pendants to a chain for the necklaces because I've had a lot of requests for that as well. So there is an existing unicorn tutorial of Heather's Mustafa. Oh yes, the unicorn. Yeah, we've done some unicorns before. Faith, that's the name of my kitty who just turned 20. The same day. Oh, cool. On your birthday. That's so that's so fun. Wow. Faith. That's a great name. I really love it. So we're gonna bring this down here. And then I realize this has to be sort of on top of this one. So we'll just flip it up in there. And we're going to bring this up and form the F. So that looks a little bit like a T, but then we're gonna make it into an F, so we're going to bring this over here, and I'm going to bring this, usually the cursive F has a little, just a little bit of a dip here, and then we'll bring this up, and we're going to bring this here, a little bit down, and across. So there's the F, a little bit tricky, but it certainly looks like a cursive F. So now we're going to do the A around here. Somebody was asking me how much wire it you need for each letter or for each word. And I, I kind of figured it out that you need between like two and a half, three centimeters of wire for each letter, depending on how big you want the word to be. So I would, I would at least account for one inch for each letter just to be sure, because some letters are bigger than others. And of course I always cut it like too long than too short because I never want to run out of wire when you're doing um, names. In fact, when I do my cake toppers, sometimes I do the bride and the groom's name with one wire. And I don't know how many times I've run out of wire <laughs> and I had to start over because I like it to be one continuous wire. So there's the eye. We're just doing like the little dot. You don't have to dot your eyes, but I like to dot the eye. I just find it looks better. And then we're going to bring this one up and do the T. So this comes up here. And we're going to do a T. And I don't know how the weather is at your guys' place, but it's nice today. But yesterday it rained 
nonstop all day, all night. And Mimi and I couldn't take our nighttime walk because it was pouring rain. It was ridiculous. Usually it stops like by 11 o'clock at night or something, and then we'll t take a walk. But uh, no, it was really, really rainy yesterday. So today is nice. It's, uh, it's a bonus. So after the live stream, I'll go out for sure. And uh, let's see, Musfa, uh, okay. Uh, glad to catch you again. Tim, hey Tim, how are you? Sorry, I'm, I haven't, I wasn't watching the comments and now I'm seeing uh, if, when people pop in again. So I'm, I'm good, yeah, I'm having fun here with these, with these animals. It's so much fun and there's so much potential and you guys can make these as gifts, like people would love these. So we're just finishing up Faith's name. I saw a beautiful bear in the group. Oh, okay. I haven't. Oh, uh, yes. Somebody did post a bear. And uh, I have to go back because when I checked the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club, I scroll down as far as I can. But the trouble is sometimes uh, posts get lost in the feed because it's the algorithm, right? So the posts that get the most comments go up to the top. And the ones that don't get a lot of comments are way far down and sometimes I don't see them. So if ever you guys post in the group and you want me to see it, please tag me because, or at least tag me in the comments because sometimes I miss, uh, I miss uh, posts. And we are now 7,000 people plus members in that group. So it's an amazing group. I'm really, really super happy. It's just sometimes I don't see the posts. So here's Faith. Okay, so was it Linda? Oh, it was Linda's with the colors. You're right. You're right. That one was gorgeous. Hey, Wendy, how are you? Nice to see you again. And Wendy's been doing some beautiful mixed media pieces. Uh, she does the the drawings that are like almost not cartoon like, but you could definitely do a like a comic book with those with those drawings. And so she does these beautiful drawings with wire embellishments on them. So you could definitely see that in the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club too. Can you make a letter A ring on Sunday? I'll see what I can do to do it this week, Elman. I, you are definitely, you get an A plus for perseverance because I know you've asked me many, many times. And it's just, I have a, a huge list and I do what I can. So I will definitely do your A ring ASAP for sure. So let's attach the word, uh, the name Faith. Oh, you're welcome, Wendy. I just love, love, love your, your drawings. And it's just right up my alley because I love drawing. I love humor. I love uh, I love sort of uh, comic style things. So yeah, definitely amazing and very unique. So sunny there, eh? And and around Seattle, that's uh, that's cool. Yeah, no, it's a nice day here and not too hot. So here we go. So we're gonna attach faith, and then I kind of like it on the angle. Let's just see how we want to do it. Yeah, I like how it looks when it's on an angle. It kind of fits with the lines of the of the um, of the fox. So let me just get it in place, probably about here. And we're just gonna wind this one around. Okay, angled is great. Yeah, I like the angle better too because it just it just looks um, nicer. You know, it looks less uh, stiff. So my internet is stopping and starting. Oh, that's really too bad. I'm sorry about that. But definitely, you know, you'll get the replay. And um, that's the trouble with Wi-Fi, especially, I don't know what it's the weather's like there, but there I know there are some hurricanes going on around in the States. And we kind of get like the, the how do you say, sort of the reverb from that because uh, we had a really bad storm yesterday and we don't get hurricanes. We generally don't get tornadoes although we have had them in Ottawa before but we definitely get the reverb of all those storms in the states I think New York was pretty bad too eh? yesterday Clarice you, you let me know but I think Mark told me that uh, New York City was pretty stormy yesterday summer in Florida hot 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 yes one day I'm gonna make it to Florida I we actually wanted to go this year down to around Miami or something and then COVID hit and it was like no so maybe next year. So here's Faith with the fox. It looks pretty darn good. I'm happy for that. I've seen people using the electrical wire for making bikes and put customer's name on top of the bike. Yeah, a lot of people are making the wire bicycles now. When we started, uh, there was nobody on Etsy making them. And uh, we had a really unique 
niche making uh, the wire bikes, especially for the cake toppers. But as with everything, uh, people start to, you know, follow the trends and, and do that as well. So I, I find ours are very different because Mark is very, very precise with his details and his bikes are beautiful. So, um, and we use a really nice shiny material that's perfect for the cake toppers. So, but definitely there's people all over the world making wire bicycles. So here's uh, the fox with faith. So thank you so much, Wendy. Yeah, it turned out really well. Oh, it rained heavy in India. Wow, yeah, I'm not, I'm not surprised. There's a lot of rain going on all over the place. So let's go ahead and do the cat. So kitty cat, perfect. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the gold as well. I really like the gold wire. This is from Michaels and I find the, the um, I'll get the thicker one. I find this is a craft wire and the silver craft wire from Michaels, they both come in packs of three. I find it a little bit duller, whereas the gold is really nice and shiny. So there we go. Mustafa loves the fox. Awesome. And you found a, uh, you found a fox emoji. That's awesome. So let's go ahead and cut a nice long piece of wire. As always, I'm not 100% sure what size it should be, but we'll just cut a nice long piece. Okay. And we will trace the kitty cat. So same thing, you wanna start at the top because we'll finish it up here with some beads. And so this gauge is 18 gauge. I'm gonna use 18 gauge for the actual figure and 20 gauge for the, for the letters. So let's go ahead and do this one. So I think I'm just gonna bring that around and let's give this a nice sharp bend here for the top of the head okay and then we're going to lift it off to do some of the details we're going to bring that here and then bend that one here perfect okay bring that down and now we're going to trace here so this I can go ahead and get my pliers and start tracing here so that we're going to get this one Flips a little bit, but we can fix that after too. Whoops. Yeah, that's the trouble when you have a long piece of wire. It tends to flip a little bit, but we can fix it after. So I use my finger, my thumb to bend it around like that. Okay, and then here, we're gonna bend that out and down here so and push that one down. And this cat is gonna be much easier than the fox. I think the fox just had a little bit more detail. The cat's not as difficult. I'm gonna bring that around here. Make sure they match up. It's good to like compare it, go back and forth. It's good to do a lot of the details just with your pliers and lift it off the template in theory, you could probably make a jig for this. Like if you trace this on a paper and then stick it on a board, say you wanted to make like 20 of these for gifts or for a fundraiser or something like that, you could definitely make a template, put this on paper, stick it on a board and put little nails in strategic spots. And then you would be able to make a lot. Like Amber, if you wanted to make a bunch of these for your clients, you could definitely make a little jig and, um, and then you'd be able to mass produce the uh, the shapes as well. So that would you know that would be great for gifts and stuff. Oh my I my uh, computer is low battery. Let me plug it in. Perfect. Now I can see. Okay, so perfect. The amazing singer. There's an amazing singer called Wendy P Peterson in Florida. I don't think Wendy sings, but Wendy, you tell me. Maybe you have an alter ego that I don't know about because uh, I didn't think that you were a singer. But uh, I think some names are very common. Eh? I've really, uh, I've had a lot of people to ask me, you know, uh, about my name because Boyd is not that uncommon and there actually are a lot of Heather Boyds around. In fact, if you Google Heather Boyd, uh, there's a there's a writer, her name comes up a lot. So she writes like exotic or erotic like 
fiction or something. And I'm like, no, that's not me. But uh, there's there's definitely other Heather Boyds around. Uh, you'll you'll also find my comics because uh, that's uh, if you Google my name, there's that's usually comes up and the wire, a lot of the wire stuff too. So oh, and a and a podcast. I do a podcast as well. So too much stuff, too much stuff online. But it's uh, it's fun. It's just a big game, right? All this social media stuff. There we go. <laughs> how many day how many days did you receive your first order are you talking about um etsy uh mustafa because my first two years of etsy were very very slow i actually remember that my very first sale on etsy was a pair of earrings that were like drummers so it was like little figures playing the drum and the drum i made out of beads and <laughs> My first order was a bit of a disaster because when I shipped it, the beads broke. So that was not like the best omen for me on Etsy. And it was, uh, you know, it was very stressful. Uh, but I took care of it. You know, I sent them a replacement. And, you know, to me, Etsy is all about customer service. You have to be like 100% customer service. Like if ever there's a problem to me, the customer is always right. I always reimburse them if there's any little bit of a problem or resend or whatever. And yeah, so that was my experience with my first sale. And I would say the first two years, at least the first two years on Etsy were hit and miss. Like I made a few sales, but not a lot. I tried a whole bunch of stuff. I experimented with different like necklaces, earrings, uh, all kinds of different products that I that I was trying jewelry products that I was trying to sell online and it wasn't until we started selling the wedding cake toppers that things took off. So sometimes it takes a while to find your niche and then once we found our niche uh it was great. You know, we paid our mortgage, uh, things were really great with that, but I don't tell people that that's guaranteed to happen because you really have to experiment you really have to try different things and uh and you other things you can do is like some of those videos I sent you Mustafa that give you tips about Etsy is you want to find out what people are actually looking for on Etsy because if nobody's looking for that uh, people aren't going to really find you right so if you'd use the search bar on Etsy and try to find what people are actually looking for, that helps for sure. So my birthday is Monday. Oh, well, then I'll have to do your ring before Monday for sure. Happy early birthday. Sorry, I was gone for a few, but, uh, a few, but mom said you mentioned me and the clients. She was half listening. Oh, I only, I mentioned, Amber, that the doing this cat design would be great for your clients and if you wanted to mass produce them you could easily make a, a jig like print this on paper and glue it on the on the uh on the uh, uh wood piece with nails and you could definitely like zip up a whole bunch of them in no time yeah for sure wendy's birthday is the 20th oh that's so cool wendy i love that Fantastic. Happy early birthdays, summer birthdays. Yeah, I don't have a lot of family and friends that have birthdays in the summer. Mostly they're uh, in the winter, you know, a lot of winter, a lot of, uh, you know, February, January. Mine's in November, so it's not for a while. So now, guys, we've done the whole thing, and we're going to just put a wire up in the middle so then we can hang some beads so we don't want it too much over I see I cut my wire way too long so I'll be 104 <laughs> that's a good age that's hilarious oh my goodness yeah I'll be 55 this year free freedom 55 I guess I can retire right ha 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 I don't think that's going to happen as entrepreneurs uh, never retire. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll be doing this for a long, long time. But actually, that's one of the reasons I opened the Etsy shop for the tutorials is because uh, it's an opportunity for me to make a little more kind of passive income and to be able to, once I'm allowed, to be able to travel more and have a little bit more freedom with that. So that's sort of the idea behind the new Etsy shop. And um, and then if I need to take a break, a break from 
selling items that I have to make for a couple of weeks, then it could work out well. So there's actually a big market too on Etsy for printables. So if there are any artists out there that want to sell their drawings, their artwork, quotes, all kinds of things, there's a huge market for selling printable items, digital items on Etsy. So you can even get ideas uh, if you search YouTube for tutorials about how to how to sell printables. You could definitely check that out, and there's a lot of really good mentors for for that on on YouTube. So if you want to make passive income and sell your artwork, that's a great way to do it is selling uh, printables. So there we go. So there's Kitty. So let's get some different color of beads. Please don't quit YouTube. Oh, no, that's not my intention to quit YouTube whatsoever. The tutorials I'll be selling on Etsy are different than the ones I'll do on YouTube. So don't worry. I am not going anywhere. I love this community. And uh, and I get so much inspiration and have so much fun, especially on the live, live stream. So no, YouTube is, is here to stay for sure. And then the uh, the things on Etsy is going to be uh, quite different. So there we go. So let's get some beads on here. And we are going to finish it off. So red is cute. I like the red. There we go. So let's just cut the wire. And actually, you know what I'm thinking? I'm not going to do red. Little girls like purple and pink. So I changed my mind already. There we go. So I have purple and I have pink. So let me just see what I have that matches. I have purple here. Actually, I don't have a purple that matches that. I'm going to do pink. So I'm going to do the pink on here. Let's do pink. And I'm going to get another gold spacer bead on here. Perfect. And I do have this one. I don't know if it really matches. It's not too bad. This is like a clear pink. So I don't have a lot of clear pink beads. That one's good. Okay. And then the little miracle bead. So perfect. I like the red, but I think a little girl would like pink. I'm not good at buying wire. I get confused. Yeah. Buying wire is tricky. Um, I just go with the standard gauges usually. The uh, 2018, 24 gauge wires. Those are my standbys. And uh, because I don't do the wire weaving, I don't worry too much about some of the other gauges. But um, yeah, it's tricky to find nice wire. That's why I love the beetle on wire. And it was just ironic that they contacted me to uh, to send me some samples. And because uh, it really is my favorite wire. I just love it. I just find I like the colors. I like the textures. And I actually tried to contact them a few years ago and never heard back. And then they reached out to me randomly. So that was really cool. So I'll be able to recommend more wires and tools from them. So here is the kitty. Super cute oh my god I love it so let's get the 20 gauge wire and do Sophie's name so I'll just cut a nice piece of the 20 gauge wire and Heather I would like to order something can we get together later and work at yes absolutely Debbie you can DM me and we can definitely chat that would be lovely thank you so let us da, 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 da. Sophie how much wire about that much wire and yeah, today I'm working on a few different uh, different things. And um, yeah, Etsy's not too bad these days. I uh, I do a lot of a lot of custom orders for different things, and I lo I love doing the personalization though because that's really fun to do uh, custom gifts for people. They really they really find that special. So here we go. Nice call on the beads. So perfect. Yeah, really. Eh? I, I, the red was a little dark. I put, I put them together and I liked them, but they were a little bit dark. So let's do Sophie. So we're going to do the S. And I remember Susan was saying she was having trouble with her S's. So S's just take a little wiggling to get the shapes right. So we're going to bring this up here. And... I love the Wendy you made. Nice. Thank you. And the kitty's cute. It's cute, eh? Yeah, I like the kitty. Very simple, you know. Sometimes simple is better. It's uh, You get the message across with very few lines. So let's do Sophie. I just want to make sure it's somewhat the same size as Faith. Although they're, they're um, both granddaughters, but they're not... I think they're not from... They're not sisters. They're, so maybe they won't be comparing the size of their of their uh, pieces, but uh, we're going to make them about the same size. So we're just going to go down here 
and bring that around and we're gonna do the O. So we'll bring the O around here. Don't wanna make it too big because I wanna make sure it's gonna fit in there. Okay, so there's O. And then for the P, what I do is I bring it, I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. I'll just tighten it up a little bit. So we're gonna bring this up and then I want to bring this to the front. Now that's always the tricky part. Do we bring it to the front? Do we bring it to the back? You kind of have to think ahead to see what you're going to do because I want to do the loop underneath. I brought the wire over top. So I try to alternate to the front to the back and just so the piece ends up being a little bit more even. So we're going to do the, the uh, circle for the P. I'll have to check my list too to see if I had already had requests for a Sophie uh, because then I could check it off my list because I have a whole list going of names that people have requested and I'm slowly kind of getting through the list. I mean, it's the list will go on forever because people will keep requesting different names, but at least I'll try to get as many done as I can. And at least I have the playlist of the, the names and the letters, the upper lowercase letters. So if ever you want to do your name and I haven't done it yet, at least you'll have a tutorial with, with the letters on there. So that's good. So we're just going to get the H here. And then, of course, guys, I forgot to talk about on Saturday, we're going to do another live stream, and that's the new series called Let's Get Wired. So we're, whoever wants to get wired with me on Saturday at noon Eastern time, I'm going to post the project in the Discord group and in the community section of this channel. I will post that very soon. Uh, just to be prepared, just have some 18 and 20 gauge wire ready and a few beads. And I want to, um, I'll probably do another animal. So why don't you comment in the comments what animal you would like to do for the Let's Get Wired uh, session on Saturday. And I will choose an animal. And we'll work on it together and we will um, we will share photos in the Discord group. So Wendy says she's still having a problem with Discord. So Wendy, what do you think, what is the problem with Discord? Were you able to join? I thought you were able to join in there. Is it, or is it just a problem of trying to sh share images? Let me know what the problem was and if we can't... Uh, think of the solution, uh, you can DM me later and we can try to figure it out because I'm not sure what it is. And people that don't have Discord or are having trouble with Discord, you can always message me photos on Instagram at Heather Boyd Wire. That'll work too. I'll, I'll offer those two options. Either you share in the Discord group or you can send pics of your work in progress on Instagram and then I'll share them because that's the idea. We're going to work together on one project and then uh, while the live stream is going, I'll open up the Discord app and the Instagram and show people what you guys are working on for that project. So there we go, that worked well with the Sophie. So now we're going to attach it in there and also put it on an angle a little bit, looks good. So let me just hold that over here, perfect. And wind that around. Do you have a tutorial for a wolf? I don't have a wolf, but I guess it would be very similar to the fox. You'd have to kind of like just tweak the design a little bit. And there is lots of copyright free artwork on Google that you could find clip art for a wolf. Uh, you just wanna be really careful not to use images that are copyrighted, but you can find all kinds of copyright free images also if you want to find a photo of a wolf, there's there's copyright free sites called like pexels.com and pixabay.com. There's all kinds of copyright free images you can get. You can print them out and you can trace them uh, to find images of wolves. So even if it, it was an actual photo, you can trace the silhouette of it uh, with um, in the same way that we did this. So that's an idea. I can actually write it down. Uh, Mel Rose, hi, how are you? What gauge should I use? So for the outline, it's 18 gauge. And for this uh, lettering, it's 20 gauge wire. 
Okay, so act animals. I'm so excited. Yes, so we're gonna do animals on the on the let's get wired session, but we just have to decide which one. So if you guys have suggestions, Linda almost missed this. Hi, Linda, how are you? We mentioned you earlier that you did that bear with the colors in it. That was super cool. That they she um, Linda did like a silhouette of a bear, and you melt beads, eh, Linda, to make those colors. It's super super cool. Yeah, I'll have to find an image of it to show people. Yeah, that's really cool. I mailed it. Wolf drawings, too. Yes. Yeah, so you could definitely do like a silhouette of a wolf. There's all kinds of, uh, you know, drawings and, and color. If you even look up uh, coloring pages and stuff, you can often find images like that. So here's Sophie. And here is Faith. So I just have to kind of adjust these a little bit. Let me just see how we're doing for time. Oh, we're not too bad. So, um, yeah, so what do you guys think? Should we do, yes, the pony beads that you melt. I, I guess the only problem with that, Linda, is I guess you have to really ventilate because that could be a little bit toxic with melting the plastic. But if you're, as long as you're well ventilated, it's all good. They're cute, eh? Yeah, they turned out really well. I think uh, Cynthia is going to be super happy. I actually thought she would be on the live stream, but I guess she couldn't make it uh, this week. So, um I'll email her some pictures and she can watch the replay as well because she had requested these for her granddaughters. They're both nine years old. I want a raccoon. Oh, raccoons are so hard. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I've done raccoons before. They're, I'm going to write it on my list, but they definitely are tricky. I guess they're sort of a, you know, a little bit of the fox type thing with the, with the tail. And, and actually with the tail, we could add like the little zigzag on there if we wanted to make more detail. You could definitely do that. I'm pretty sure my wolf sign catcher was posted here with that drawing. Okay, so you, the wolf sign catcher is probably in the Facebook group. Giraffe was good. I actually have the giraffe templates too. Um, when I did the wolf, I did the, I did the, not the wolf, when I did the bear, there was a giraffe as well. So I'm going to write these suggestions down, giraffe, raccoon, and then we'll see what we can do and on Saturday and hopefully that you, you can um, you can join on Saturday. Koala would be cute too. All these really tricky animals. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely write them down, and I'm just gonna see. I just want to go to the group on Facebook and see if I could find the picture of the bear that. Um, if I could find it, I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to find it. Oh, I found it. It popped up right away, Linda. That was that was a real coincidence that it popped up right away on the uh, when I opened up the app. So here's Linda's bear, beautiful. So that's the outline that we did on in the Tip Tuesday video, and then she added these pony beads and melted them. That's it makes a really cool sun catcher. I think you can also buy little melty kind of beads uh, from Michaels and stuff that you can spread and melt and stuff. I really I really love that. That is so cool. Yes, I have to do. I have vent, vent, ventilation. Most do outside. Yeah, outside is good. Yeah, so that's gorgeous. So thanks for sharing that, Linda, in the group. I love that. Wonder who talked to Beetle on about you. Some of us have big mouths. Ha ha ha. It was actually somebody in the group who um, who had uh, who had uh, mentioned it to me. So that's uh, that was super fun. So I'm gonna flip the screen. There we go. Perfect, guys. So that was fun. We got a lot done. And thank you guys so much for hopping on. And hopefully you can make it Saturday for at noon Eastern time. And if you have any trouble with the Discord app, let me actually pull it up, the invitation again on here so I can invite you guys. And then on uh, Saturday, you can join. Oh, I think we're our internet might be knocking out a little bit. But let me see before it knocks out if I can just invite you guys. So we're just going to copy this and bring it over here. So here is the link to the Discord group if you want to join. And then on Saturday, we're going to do our little session and come prepared with 20 gauge wire, 18 gauge wire, some beads. And we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do animals. We, we don't have to choose one animal. I have a few uh, templates, and what I'll do is I'll post the templates uh, in the group before the um, the session starts. So that would be good. Dolphin would be good too. Yes, dolphin would be great. 
I do have a dolphin template for the artistic wire jig as well. So there's always those templates as well. If you want to, you can always search my channel too for a different, like if you search in the channel for dolphin, I think it'll come up that one with the artistic wire jig. So that's super cool. Great. So guys, I'm going to head off. Uh, thanks so much for watching. And uh, I'm going to do an opening of the beetle on stuff. So I don't know if I'm going to do it today or not. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to think about that. I have a few things to do first, so I might do that a little bit later on or tomorrow. But for sure, we'll see you Saturday and uh, have a great day and we'll see you the next time.